JP Morgan Chase is expanding its reach in APAC, with two new corporate centers recently opening in Mumbai and Bangalore. To tell us more about the growth in the region and what's next, we're joined by Deepak Mangla, who's the CEO of Corporate Centers in India and Philippines. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Jackie. Deepak, how has the firm's presence grown in India over the years, and how will these two new buildings impact future growth in the region? It's been an interesting journey. We started in India for the corporate centers in the year 2002. That time, it was just a handful of uh, 75 employees. And over a period of time, we have grown to more than 50,000 in India. We started in Mumbai, and then we opened up Bengaluru and Hyderabad in 2005 and 2010. So it's been 20 years, a journey building the corporate centers brick by brick. The new campuses in the three cities, these are amongst the largest hub locations for the company in terms of the technology and operations work that is carried out and what we do for the corporate functions. Over a period of time, we've evolved in the kind of work that's done with a lot of complex roles, global projects run out of the corporate centers and global roles based out of here. So the whole value chain has grown and we have great talent that we have hired in the region talent for technology, finance, and operations that we get here, which creates great value for the firm. The two new corporate centers in Bangalore and Mumbai are both considered workplaces of the future. Can you tell us what that means and what some of the unique features in these buildings are? These are big campuses. We are trying to consolidate our presence in each city. So we were fragmented across the city and we are bringing it together. So the Mumbai campus is 1.16 million square feet and it's a part of a big knowledge park called the Nirlon Knowledge Park. Similarly, the Bengaluru Corporate Center is 1.12 million and is a part of something called Embassy Tech Village. And both these campuses will have more than 12 to 13,000 people working out of these campuses. And we've worked on a couple of pillars as we built out these campuses around technology and this was all around well-being, sustainability, and collaboration. We wanted to support the work-life balance and a sense of community. So what we created was a very lot of open spaces, varied options, big cafeterias. And we've achieved the LEED gold standards for these buildings. And I'm proud to say that these buildings are powered by 100% renewable energy. So these are really workplaces of the future. So what impact will some of these new features have on employee productivity? These campuses are basically designed to adapt to the future of work. So as you walk into the campus, you're greeted by a big lobby, which is like a living lobby. We have big conferencing rooms and in our indoor conferencing facilities. And for a lot of collaboration and working on joint projects, technology and operations, we've created innovation labs and work cafes. Similarly, for relaxation, we have created a lot of game rooms, we created the biophilic elements with a lot of greenery and prayer rooms. We have the childcare centers, mother's room, outdoor seating for employees where people can go out and sit in the sun. These are places which can allow you to think freely and work with each other, learn from each other, collaborate, and just integrate work and life. Lastly, what's next in terms of growth for the India and Philippines corporate centers? Can we expect more new campuses to be built over the next few years? So we would continue to consolidate our presence in each of the cities. Right now, we've solved about 50% of each city in terms of consolidation. And some of the other spaces also we would bring into the new campuses over a period of time. So we would be having a two-spot or a three-spot strategy in each city and cover different parts of the city in terms of the demographic profile and where our people are based. And we would build more similar campuses over the next five years in Mumbai, Bangalore, Manila, and Cebu for now to complete our consolidation and take care of some of the growth that we envisage in the future. A lot of great information there. Deepak Mangla, the CEO for Corporate Centers in India and the Philippines. Thank you so much for sharing that with us today. Thank you for inviting me.